Hello, this is a quick five minute video on all the different tools you can use for your Covenant project. You're going to learn stuff um, about one particular area of the Covenant and I want you to be able to present that um, information that you learn about in lots of different tools. And here they are in the Web Tools tab on your website. You've got a list of those tools that you could possibly use. Um, I'm going to do these um, 10 and 11 first, SketchUp and Scratch. Um, Scratch is uh, a programming software where you can go and make applications. This one is quite funky, you can see here. It says click on the four faces on the faces, sorry, so you can put lots of faces in and you click on them, something different happens and you program it, so you have to learn how to use Scratch. Um, so uh, the more techie, techie people amongst you might like to do that. You can make simple animations. If you look here, there's um, someone just made a fish tank um, using a paint type interface um, and that might suit you. Uh, so that's Scratch. SketchUp, you can do 3D modeling. Look at these, fantastic. So you can do a really professional style or something that looks sort of quite basic. Um, different versions, you can make bits of furniture, all sorts of things, anything you want to do in 3D. Someone's made an elephant down here, which is pretty awesome. Um, that might be a bit a bit too hard, but um, uh, but you can do all sorts of things um, with it. So SketchUp's a cool one if you want to get into that. Great piece of software to learn how to use. Now I'm going to do the link ones. Um, first we have VoiceThread, number one. Um, if I play the video on this, um, it might show an example of VoiceThread. I probably should have set one up, but I haven't. Um, and it's just about you put something in the center of the page, like this, and then you share, and then you embed it, and this is what you would do. So you embed the thing, and hopefully it's going to show us in a moment. There, if I just pause the video there, um, you get you different people can comment around the edge, and this could be a PowerPoint. You can have like several slides in there, and different people can comment at different times. You can annotate over the top of the PowerPoint or the picture um, inside here, or some text that you want to write, and you can put these different people commenting, they could be different characters <clears throat> in whichever thing it is that you have. So for example, you could have Noah and the Ark, and these could be all the animals talking about the Ark or discussing the issues to do with the Ark and the Flood and all of that, um, just to be creative with it and that kind of thing. Have a look and see what you think. They're easy to set up. Um, MindMeister is a simple collaborative mind mapping, so it's where you can mind map with other people if you want to do that. Um, Domo is an animation software, it makes animations look like this, 2D animations, sort of very cartoony type ones. Um, you can have noises in it and text in it and all that kind of thing, speech bubbles and whatever. Um, the Then Extra Normal is a similar, it's another sort of animation thing and um, you can make animations with different backgrounds and things like that. You can set yourself up an account and off you go. Again, you can embed it into your website when you're done. Uh, Vokey, uh, voice thread things, I've shown you a few of these and um, you can have a go talking heads basically. That might be useful, that might not be. Prezi is a fantastic sort of zooming tool, okay? So if, um, let's just play this and we'll see what happens. And you're basically going to make, slowly but surely, a huge picture. You see this one's making a cityscape and then you go and put lots of little bits of detail in. But as you present the presentation, you zoom in on bits like that. So you've got this map here which looks quite big on the screen but actually it's really small. There it was just down there. Have a look at it, see what you think. It's, much, it's sort of um, an alternative to PowerPoint. Much, much better though, much more fun. Google Drive has presentations on it and docs and anything else that you think might be relevant. Uh, Linoit, this is a collaborative online pin boards. So you can put all sorts of material in. See, this one's got lots of photos, this one's got lots of text, sticky notes kind of thing, and pictures as well, videos, all embed into a big board online, which you can then embed into your Google site. Um, Wordle.net. This is word cloud, so you could, for example, take loads of text out of the Bible and push it into a word cloud, and then every word that's repeated um, gets bigger. The more times it's repeated, it gets bigger, so you can kind of see um, uh, what any particular chunk of text is talking about mainly because of the, um, the repeated words. Um, so you can have a play with that. Um, infogram. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm looking for, let's have a look at this, pedestrian accidents. Um, Computer's gone fine. So you can see here, you, infographics are like this. They're just pic, pic, um, interesting picture ways of creating graphics. Uh, next up is visually a similar thing, um, and you can see the idea. You create graphics using pictures um, pr uh, to relay the information. Um, and lastly, uh, we've got witty comics. So you can go and make your own comic and set your scenes and set different people and things like that. You have to be a bit creative. Now, it might be that not one of these um, tools will suit what you're doing, um, but a combination of them. You might have a Wordle with an infogram, with a witty comic, um, with a couple of Vokies, whatever it might be. Whatever you think is suitable for the content that you're making, that's what we want to see. So, give it a go. Let me know. If you know any other tools, by the way, look here. You can use those. Good luck.